and that appears to be going. Okay, so welcome everyone to the IPFS All Hands Call for July 16th, 2018. Uh, we've got a small agenda today, uh, but it looks like we can't kick it off because Matt appears to be busy uh, with another call. Um, David, if you would like to take that over, um, you can go ahead with that. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, thank you all for coming. I'm sure everyone uh, as their inbox is pretty full with all the follow-ups from last week. The developer meetings were a great success. Uh, thank you all to the ones that had a chance to be present. Thank you to everyone that contributed through GitHub uh, or remotely to ARC. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done. Just to give you an idea for like especially for the people that didn't get to be there last week, we had like around 65 people gather in one location, very unusual for this distributed project. But we gather everyone in one location and for five days, three days for IPFS, two days probably peer to peer, we had many sessions from deep dives where people were uh, had to face like got challenged with an open problem, something that we are still thinking through on IPFS land, something that we know we want to do, but we don't clearly have the path. And so people would gather in groups from two to four and like really think through um, that problem and I come up with some solutions. Other things, also a very popular session was the poster session where people would get a topic and work in pairs or trios and really dive deep into that topic, learn a lot about the topic. And the topic here is something about the IPFS or the peer-to-peer -peer stack something that you might be very familiar or might not be familiar at all and by diving deep and learning about it you start knowing where the information about the specific part of the stack exists and then you would like people created a poster um, to present that information to other people making like a material that is very easy to consume that can be reused later for our documentation for newcomers etc etc uh, we are still in the process of basically uh, and you can see right I uh, see right now some people are already like submitting pull requests with notes from last week's discussions but there is so much stuff like there was probably over like 50 different sessions um, more than like 40 to 45 things discussed overall, uh, 200 lighting talks or so. Like there was lighting talks, like people will have demos till Christmas if they want to watch like one each day. Um, and, and yeah, we will publish all the recordings. Uh, they are now being edited. Some might come out as early as next week or even end of this week, probably next week. Um, we are publishing the notes. Some people are converting some of the discussions into actual specs. Uh, props to everyone at our inside network. It's very exciting. Um, and, and yeah, another thing that got announced um, during this event or was already announced before, but like we just gave it a little bit more emphasis is that we are going to have another event for the IPFS community this year. The IPFS Conf, uh, November, uh, it's going to happen in November. We'll announce the exact days um, later this month, but it's going to be November in Lisbon. So just make sure to organize your travel schedule if you want to be in IPFS Conf, plan to be around Europe or coastal Europe or in Lisbon uh, in November. And, and yeah, I th we will uh, have like a, just a markdown document that outlines everything that happened from all of the poster sessions to the hack uh, time to the work package units to like what were the session formats, the deep dives to the lightning talk so that people can like find it very quickly through this index. Uh, hopefully we will have that next week for you all. Uh, and as talks get published, as the videos get released, we'll update it to, with the links to the videos. And, and yeah, like it was again, super exciting, super like ener energizing because everyone was so engaged with the problems uh, that we had there and with the discussions. Uh, I, I love the ability to like just context switch every 10 minutes and just get bombarded with questions and, and, and more ideas and like very quickly jump into a new, a new realm of IPFS and always have like super productive discussions. So thank you everyone. If people have like more comments that they would like to have here, like as part of the update, please be my guest, go for it. Anything like particular that I didn't mention here that you would like the entire world to know right now? Okay, I can see one more thing. Uh, given that we had poster sessions, eventually we will we'll announce the best poster award. 
we still don't know what is the price. But very important, more, even more important than the best poster award, because we tend to have a lot of bike sheds, we are uh, going to have a best bike shed award as well. And we already have a strong contestant. We actually, yeah, we think there was like a discussion at one. <laughs> People that are laughing, they know which discussion it was. <laughs> there will be, uh, we just have to find a place where they can like make a tiny bike shed that like you can click a button and switch the color. And, and that should be like the, tro the trophy to, to, to give <laughs> to the best bike shed award. Okay, that's what I have. <laughs> All right. Uh, nothing more to add to that other than the event was fantastic. Um, so with all that out of the way, uh, let's move on to base 32 migration with Lytle. It's just very, very quick plug. <laughs> uh, the plug is uh, that uh, there's a dedicated meta issue for migrating to base 32. Uh, with all the background and if you are working on base 32 and got an issue or enhancements related to that please refer this meta issue so we have a very nice list of ongoing work below that and that's uh, that's all that's just a quick PSA I love the logo <laughs> We should have a, a logo for all of our endeavors. <laughs> Ping Agatha. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so do we've, we've got no comments, no questions on that one. Johnny? Uh, I guess there's a segue now. Oh, okay, go ahead, Johnny. How about just what's the uh, plan for submitting that? Because I guess the impetus is, the, is really um, URL uh, identifiers uh, that are case insensitive. And so this really has to do with uh, submission for IETF. So to get IPFS colon slash slash. So I, I followed the, the, the logic at the meeting, but I was just wondering more of the, the rationale and the, that path to the to why we need base 32 and actually what's that, that trajectory for standards. Uh, so basically, the idea is that uh, first we need to move uh, to base 32 so that uh, people have the same like default hash everywhere. Uh, we need to use base 32 in the uh, authority part of URLs to have a proper security parameter. And when we have that working, we can start uh, creating uh, int integrations that are required, uh, like we need to demonstrate uh, it's actually used uh, somewhere. And we will have like probably the first integration will be a native ha protocol handler in uh, Firefox Nightly. And when we have that, we have a clear demonstration that this protocol is alive, there's actual need for that. And then we can uh, like start this formal path within the standardization uh, bodies uh, to, to do that. But first, like generally, uh, most of them require actual, not only proof of concept, but uh, like approval from third party organization or at one of uh, like uh, mainstream browsers to adopt uh, the for, like the new protocol and the convention before they even start uh, like talking uh, about uh, starting standardization process. So that's a quick overview. All right, so it looks like the only thing we have left is a very exciting demo from Alan. Oh, well, that was quick. Uh, okay, so a demo. Uh, I was just hacking over the weekend, so this is not complete in any way, but um, this is just something that I was doing um, to kind of push it forward a little bit. Um, the, the, I guess the, the thing about Base32 is that there's going to be a lot of work kind of making it the default, but it would be rad if uh, you could use IPFS and add stuff to IPFS that would, uh, and just be able to get a Base32 CID back. You can always specify CID version and then convert it yourself, but that's a bit of a pain. Uh, so this, all this does is basically um, I've kind of hacked 
JS IPFS to, um, if you give it a flag like CID base, then the base of the CID that you get back when it's printed to screen uh, or stringified uh, is going to be whatever you pass to it. So um, I should probably just stop talking and show you my screen. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, cool. And there's an ice cream van outside. Um, so it, this is just uh, because this doesn't work properly. Um, we've got, uh, I'm just passing uh, to IPFS add my uh, GIF folder in my Dropbox, which has loads of cool GIFs in it. Um, and I've added this new flag called CID base uh, and I'm setting it to base32 so I can set this to whatever base is like supported um, by uh, multibase. Uh, so uh, yeah, it could be like base2 or you know base16, whatever, but this will allow us to output base32 uh, CIDs. Um, at the moment, I have to specify not to pin it because it blows up if I do. Um, I have to specify no raw leaves because it blows up if I do. And also, uh, recursive is a thing that you have to add to get it to add everything in a folder. So hopefully, if I just hit this, then it should Ooh, chug away and add all of my GIFs to my IPFS. And I should get some uh, Baffy, <laughs> uh, Baffy CIDs back. Um, and so if I copy one of those, I should be able to go over to the CID inspector, paste it in and see that this was actually encoded as a, a, a base32 CID that I've read. Um, uh, and that's kind of it. Um, I should also say that, where are we, where are we, where are we here? Um, I can also, I should also be able to do, uh, oh, uh, it, I should also be able to do node uh, source uh, CI bin uh, cat with that CID and so this will try and print some GIF data to my terminal but yeah that works too I think <laughs> if that looks like a GIF to you then that's all good um, so that's that's about it for me uh, if anyone has any questions, but like I said, this is super hacky and super early, um, but it will allow us to use base or add base32 CID or get back base32 encoded CIDs from an IPFS ad and actually use them in the browser as our origin um, without the browser complaining about that. So um, that's it. That was super fast. It, it's, step, it's step one of many steps, <laughs> but you, you can do it and get it back. So that's nice. Did you try to transfer it? Did I try what? Transfer it between multiple nodes. Between nodes? Yeah, no, not yet. I, I have not. <laughs> I have been very nice testing. Uh, I just got it working and I was very excited. So I thought I would uh, show it off to everybody uh, and see what kind of criticism I get for it. <laughs> uh, like, if you got, like, so I made up a command, a, um, a flag called CID base. Um, if you feel that that name is wrong in any way or feel this should be done in a different way or something like that, then um, I would like to hear about it. Um, there is an issue on GitHub in JS IPFS for uh, becoming CID v1 and base32 by default. So I guess um, no more bike sheds, everybody. Uh, <laughs> but your, your comments will be gratefully received there. Thank you. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, so let me just double check the agenda, make sure no one snuck anything in here. Looks like we're good. Um, if anyone has any questions or comments, now would be the time to voice them. Going once, going twice. All right, looks like everything's good. So that was a, a successful meeting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little sick, so I'm out of it. So we're going to end this harsh like that and say that uh, I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye-bye. Yeah, I've got a question. Oh, oh. Uh, go ahead. Sneak those, it in. 
Hey, Kumav is here. Uh, so for those that are that were unable to attend the uh, the get together, uh, where, if anywhere, can I find some uh, notes or videos from the from everyone gathering? So uh, hi, Kumav. Uh, we walked through that in the beginning of the call, um, but I, I can give you a summary. Essentially, we have the repos developer meetings both in IPFS and with your peer. People are already like submitting pull requests and like putting links to notes. Some some of those notes are being converted to specs. And also we want to have a, a markdown document that onlines all of the things that were discussed, all the sessions, and that like also points to the, the, the recordings of the lining talks, the sessions, etc., the, the poster um, presentations and so on. If there is, like, I believe like you probably have a set of uh, topics that you're especially interested. Uh, if you want to go uh, to the IPFS developer meetings or the Leap European development meetings and open an issue with the ones that you are especially interested, then we can just point you directly to those so that you don't have to wait for the full polished um, list to come up. Cool. Beautiful. Thanks so much. No problem. Okay, for real this time. I think we're ending it. Bye, everybody.